Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use um, iBeacons in your Ionic framework, uh, iOS, and Android mobile application. So before we go too far, uh, if you're unfamiliar with what an iBeacon is, it's, it's like a proximity beacon. So they're little Bluetooth devices that uh, broadcast a signal uh, every X amount of time and your device has the opportunity to discover that signal and perform certain actions once it's been discovered or depending on how far you are uh, from the iBeacon. So for example, maybe uh, you, you have an app for an amusement park and you want to know how long the lines are or the queue at that amusement park. Uh, you can place iBeacons at certain locations in that line or queue, uh, and then uh, as foot traffic goes through that that queue, um, the app could report back to a server every time it detects maybe it was close to a particular iBeacon, and you can uh, do some calculation based on that. Uh, or maybe um, you have a scenario uh, where you uh, are at a museum and st say. Uh, maybe they decide to put an eye beacon near the statue of David in Italy. And when you approach that statue, uh, if you have the museum app in, uh, installed on your phone, maybe it starts loading literature or plays audio. Uh, so, so there's a lot of different things that you can do um, with eye beacons. Uh, in particular, I've chosen to use uh, the Estimo beacon. Um, from, from what I've read, they have a very long uh, battery life, which is good, uh, and they are uh, very durable and weather resistant. So those are the ones that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Uh, I'm sure plenty of other iBeacons uh, work. Uh, this is just uh, something that I've chosen to use. So to start things off, let's go ahead and create a new Ionic Framework project on our desktop. It'll just take a second. All right, so navigate into that Ionic project, and we're going to go ahead and add the Android uh, and iOS platform. And some things to note here. Uh, you can't add the iOS platform unless you're using a Mac like I am. Uh, if you're using Windows or Linux, you have to stick strictly to um, Android. And then also note, uh, for the remainder of this uh, tutorial, um, you're going to see demos in iOS, not Android. Um, no, no particular reason. It's just I'm changing things up. So now that we've added those two... Um, Platforms. Let's go ahead and add the plugin that we're going to use. So we're going to be using the plugin uh, by Peter Metz. So you can go ahead and copy the GitHub URL, and we're going to say Cordova add. Oops, Cordova plugin add, and we're going to paste that URL. All right, perfect. It just installed the plugin. The next thing that we want to do is because this this plugin. It, is for um, basically PhoneGap or Cordova, so it doesn't really, it's not very friendly when it comes to AngularJS. Um, so what I've done to make life easier is I've created my own plug, my own wrapper for this plugin called ng Cordova Beacon. Uh, you can download it for free, uh, and this will make it really easy to use with AngularJS. 
Uh, so I've already gone ahead and I've downloaded this plugin, uh, or this wrapper. So what we want to do is we want to open the iBeacon directory that we have. We want to navigate to the www folder, JS, and copy ng Cordova, uh, the minified version of the JavaScript file. So with that copied over, uh, we can go ahead and now open up the entire project inside of our editor. I'm just going to open up uh, the whole uh, www directory. So with the www directory uh, open, let's go ahead and click on index. And right above app.js, we want to add this wrapper library. So ng Cordova beacon.min.js. Perfect. So with that added, uh, the next step is to uh, inject it into our module for AngularJS. So go to your JS app.js file and go ahead and say ng Cordova beacon. So at this point, the wrapper and the plugin are installed and ready to go. So we can start coding, actually. So to start things off, uh, we're actually going to start coding our controller. And then we're going to start coding uh, the UI around that controller. So let's say controller, example controller, let's say scope root scope, ionic platform, and Cordova beacon. The first thing that we want to do um, is we want to make use of ionic platform. I'll tell you why in just a second. So we want to use ionic platform because this beacon plugin uses native device code. Uh, we can't use native device code until we know that our application and device is ready to use it. So we don't want any errors to be thrown. So that's why we're wrapping it. So above that, or even in it, it doesn't really matter. I just like to do it outside. Let's say scope.beacons equals uh, just an empty object. This object is going to house uh, all of the beacons that we've discovered uh, so that way we can display it in the front end. So now I'm going to add a command which is uh, only necessary for iOS. Uh, where It's necessary to uh, ask for permission to use the location services in our application. We're requesting authorization for when the application is in the foreground. And on Android, it'll just ignore this command. It's fine. All right. So we've requested authorization. Now what we want to do is we want to create a new uh, uh, range of beacons to look for. So, um, for example, maybe I have... Um, three beacons, I'll, I'll use the estimate example, I have three beacons with the same ID um, so uh, we want those are considered a range of beacons uh, so we want to uh, discover all of them so let's do the following Cordova beacon dot start ranging beacons in region. So start ranging beacons in region. And now we're going to say create beacon range. So the create beacon range part is where we actually uh, type in properties about our beacon. So we're going to give it just uh, an identifier name, human readable, uh, for our own purposes. It has nothing to do with um, discovering, 
This is just for our own purposes. That's the first parameter. So I'm going to say these are estimate beacons. And then the second parameter is the UUID. Uh, so it's probably going to be uh, long or a certain number of characters. Um, at this point, you can choose to add a major and minor, although they aren't necessary. So if you add the major and minor code, you're going to be scanning for one particular beacon uh, that uses that UUID. If you leave them off, it's going to wildcard it, and it'll scan for every beacon that has that UUID. Um, so it's up to you. It depends on how you want to make your app. Uh, I'm, for me, I'm just saying uh, wildcard it. And you could use the start ranging beacon in regions com uh, command uh, for as many regions as you want. Um, so maybe you have 10 different regions. Uh, each of those 10 regions has maybe 10 beacons. Uh, that's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and save that. So we're, we're ranging uh, for, the, for the beacons in the region. So what that does is it broadcasts a change uh, every time it's available. So in AngularJS, we have to listen for that broadcast. particular broadcast that we're looking for to pair with uh, range ranging beacons in region is the did range beacons in region. So when this broadcast hits, that means we found a beacon or the beacon status has changed uh, and we want to definitely do something with it. So we can say var unique beacon key And this unique beacon key is going to be um, just a unique identifier for our object, so that way when we loop through it, uh, we can we can uh, loop through a bunch of unique objects, um, so that way they each get their own list list element. We're going to loop through. And we're going to say unique beacon key equals and I'm just again concatenating a bunch of fields to make it unique. Perfect. And now I'm populating our scope. Remember, we're using the beacons object. And I'm going to give it a key of unique beacon key equals data dot beacons i. So each one of our getting added to this map that I've created. Finally, outside of the for loop, we want to say scope dot apply to refresh our UI. Um, and then we're pretty much good to go in, in terms of uh, the JavaScript layer. The, the layer that comes next is the HTML layer, which is going to be our view. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. First of all, in your ion content, you want to say ng, cord, ng controller, example controller. div class equals list and then in it we want to say div class equals item and we want to repeat it so we're going to loop through all the beacons And we're going to use a little CSS magic here.
div class column. Perfect. To save me some typing, I'm going to copy this. And the next row is going to be the major. It's also going to have two columns on that row. Second column being the minor. Copy this again. And in this case, it's going to be proximity. And you're good to go on that. Uh, one thing to note is this UID is going to be very long. Um, so it's probably going to get chopped off. So instead of making it look ugly, we actually want to just uh, chop it off gracefully. So I'm going to show you some CSS here. Uh, so I added truncate, which is going to be a class we're going to create. Uh, and we're going to truncate the UUID as necessary. So with that class, go to your CSS style.css and add the following. All right, perfect. So you are done with your very basic um, iBeacon application in Ionic Framework. So I'm going to do something a little different this time. I'm going to do a little post-processing on this video and try to do a picture-in-picture picture. so that way you can see a live recording on what you've, what uh, shows up on my iPod Touch. Reason being is the iOS simulator doesn't allow me to use Bluetooth so instead I've taken a video on my iPod and I'm going to hopefully include it uh, overlaying while I'm talking right now. So, uh, assuming that it worked, uh, the overlay that you see is several eye beacons that it's detected around my home. It tells you the proximity of my device to those beacons. It tells me the UUID, and it tells me uh, which particular beacon I'm looking at. So, uh, as you can see, it, it wasn't too difficult to use eye beacons in your, your application. Uh, so it's up to you to determine um, a great use for them.